one in, two in, n plus one, two n plus one, n plus one plus s, n plus what the heck are you talking about? I'm Max Clark, CEO of ITBroker.com, and you've probably heard a term thrown around once or twice called N. So N plus one, two N, two N plus one, my personal favorite, N plus one plus S. What the heck is N and how does it apply to you? So N is the number of critical devices that you need in order to run your infrastructure. So it usually refers to power infrastructure and UPS modules, but you can apply this to basically anywhere in your infrastructure stack. So routers, firewall switches, servers, etc. So N connotates the number of devices that you need in order to run. So you need one server, that's a single N. So now we get into uh, N plus one. So N plus one is the number needed to run plus one spare. 2n is twice the number that you need to run, and 2n plus 1 is twice the number that you need to run plus a spare. Now, uh, let me make an example here. I have two toddlers. So in my world, if um, you need a, a digger toy, so right? So in my case, single n is two digger toys. Well, now you want to have redundancy because what happens if you lose a digger toy? Well, now you need three digger toys. That's n plus 1. So 2n in my world would be four digger toys. And then 2n plus 1 would be 5 digger toys. So, um, or you think lovey blankets. Now, if I had three children, three children, single n would be 3, 2n would be 6, 2n plus 1 would be 7 of these digger toys or 7 loveys. So, depending on the actual requirement that you have for redundancy, looking at whether you need to be n plus 1 or 2n or 2n plus 1, that has direct impact on your cost as well as your availability. Now, my personal favorite in all this is N plus S or N plus one plus S. And so plus S is a cold spare. So I just call it a cold spare. So we do a lot of assemblies where we'll do, instead of high availability, where we'll have two devices online at the same time, we will have a cold spare. We'll have a box unplugged, sitting in um, sitting in, in inventory that's ready to go and ready to configure. And so, you know, N plus one plus S, so um, a redundant unit with high availability plus a spare, or just N plus S in a lot of cases is really good for people. And why would you do it this way? Well, redundancy introduces complexity. So as you add more and more and more devices to your environment that have to fail over and have high availability and have to, have to dynamically reconfigure themselves or whatever else needs to happen for this redundancy, it adds a lot of complexity to your environment. And you've probably seen these uh, the topology maps where there's like a box here, a box here, a box here, a box here, and then all of a sudden you start driving all these lines through them in order to connect them all that stuff, and that's what's necessary for redundancy. So if you get rid of all those things, you just say, hey, we have one box, and then we have one spare box, your environment's really simple. So, moral of the story, if you are trying to figure out how much redundancy you need and what actually makes sense for your operations, do you need just N, N plus S, N plus one, N plus one plus S, two N plus one, whatever the actual things are, give us a call at itbroker.com, we'll talk to you about your business, We'll understand what makes your business unique and your operations unique, and we will match the appropriate level of redundancy for your infrastructure to your actual needs.